All right, this question says the probability distribution of a discrete random variable x is given below. So we want to determine the indicated probabilities accurate to two decimal places. So this table is the probability distribution table. And I'm just going to paste that in here. And so the first row is um, representing every possible value that my random variable could take. Um, so this could be, it doesn't give us any context, but it could be something like counting the number of people who walk by within a certain number of seconds or um, counting how many um, times your um, you're flipping a coin and how many times it lands on heads if you're flipping it five times. Um, and then the probabilities are just associated with each um, value. And so this means that not all of the numbers of possibilities are equally likely um, because you can see those particular um, probabilities assigned to each of the values. Now with that, what we can do is we can answer these questions, which is what we were asked to do. So this first question, number one, asks us to find the probability that the random variable will be a value less than zero. Well, as you can see in the first row, there is nothing less than zero. So the, there's no possibility of getting um, an x value or a random variable value that's less than zero. So we would say that's zero probability. And each time you do one of these, you can check it and it will not take off credit for the blank ones. Um, so you can just do them one by one and you know check each answer as you go along. Now I'm looking at the next question that says, what is the probability that the random variable will be a value greater than or equal to one? So now looking at my, my x values here in the first row, I see that um, starting at 1, because it says greater than or equal to 1, so starting at 1, I see a probability of 0.17. Now, it said greater than or, um, it said equal or greater than. So the or part of that um, means that I should use the addition rule. So, you know, 2 is also greater than or equal to 1. So I should add the two probabilities here because either 1 or 2 would be satisfactory and also or three or four or five so i should go ahead and add up all the probabilities there okay so i want to do the probability that x is greater than or equal to one and that will be the sum because i'm going to add up the probabilities for each one of those possible values and so my answer is 0.92 now it says to round to two decimal places, so I'm going to leave it like that. And then the next one, what is the probability that x will not be 5? Well, as you can see, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different options other than 5. So we will add up the probabilities so that um, the probability that x is not equal to 5 is going to be adding up the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1 plus the probability of 2 and so on. So the sum of all of these probabilities right here. So 0.87 and then the next one we want the probability that x is between 2 and 4 inclusive. So I'm actually just going to put the the question number here to be a little quicker on these instead of typing out the notation. So for number four, I would want to add up the probability of two, three, and four. Okay, so 0.62. Right, and then um, number five says greater than two but also less than or equal to four. So for number five, put number five equal to the sum. Okay, so greater than two starts at three, and then um, less than or equal to four 
So, um, yeah, that's going to be the only ones I can include here. Um, because it has to satisfy both of these conditions, it has to be values that are greater than 2 and also less than or equal to 4. So that's point 0.2. All right, now this one says less than or equal to 2 or greater than or equal to 4. Okay, so let's say number 6 is the sum of less than or equal to 2 would be these right here. Then I'm going to add to that um, the sum of the probabilities for starting at 4 and greater. So these two right here. Um, I have a parenthesis in the wrong place. There we go, 0.98. All right, and then greater than or equal to 2 or greater than or equal to 4. All right, so number 7. We want the sum greater than or equal to 2 or greater than or equal to 4. Oh, well, that kind of, there's just overlap there, so that's easy. That's really just greater than or equal to 2. Now, I forgot to put the equal sign first. Remember to always put the equal sign before you do any calculations. All right, so 0.75 there. All right, then less than 0 and less than 4. Well, if it's less than 0 and also less than 4, there's nothing that would satisfy both of these, right? Because less than 0 is impossible, so that's just going to be impossible. You can't do that. You can't do both of those. Um, less than 0 and greater than, again, you can't be less than 0, and it, both of these have to be true because of the word and there, so there's nothing that would work there for that one. And then number 10, um, x between 0.4 and 4.9. So everything that's greater than 0.4 and less than 4.9. Okay, so number 8, we're going to add the probabilities. Um, let's see, the first value that is of x that is possible that is greater than 0.4 is 1. And so we'll start by grabbing the probability of 1. And we want values that are greater than that, but don't go um, beyond 4.9 or, you know, stop right before 4.9. So the last value that is, you know, less than 4.9 would be 4. So that would be all of these. 0.79 is our answer. Okay, so there you go. That's how you answer that. And then you can always do a new version to recalculate, um, to get new values and change um, the problems a little bit so that you can get lots of practice with that.